pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Jay Swin. Here. Jeanette Lambie Holman. Here. Lewis Box is absent. Will Smith. Here. Dave Clark. Here. Mark Denny. Here. Chris Ramos. Here. John Matthews. Here. And myself, Steve Rosenthal, present. And that makes eight members present. Do I have a motion on November minutes? Since we didn't have a meeting in December, we're going back to November. I'll move we approve the November minutes. All yes, second. Okay, we have a motion on the floor with a second to approve the minutes as written for November. Is there any discussion? You know, we have a roll call vote. Jay Swin? Yes. Jeanette Lambie Holman? Yes. Will Smith? Yes. Dave Clark? Yes. Mark Denny? Yes. Chris Ramos? Yes. John Matthews? Yes. I vote yes. Motion carries 8 to 0. Secretary's report? Mr. Chairman, members of the commission, um, as you all know, the Board of County Commission is changing to a fire district commission, and what that means is that the planning commission bylaws will have to be changed. Okay. So what uh, I'm trying to do is um, um, take the options to the county commission and have them approve it. Right now we are recommending a nine-member board. So each district will be represented by planning commissioner, There's at least one planning commissioner. By who? At least by one, and then what? If some you have the nine, it means four. Or yeah, some nine. of the districts will have three. Uh, yeah. I think a couple, we have three. So there'll be five from me, uh, one from each district, and then four be a large kind of like? Um, it, it's, we, we don't want to change anything. It's just, okay. you know, there'll be nine members, and it'll be scattered all over the county. Okay. Much. All right, so they don't have to be any from any certain district? No, we don't want to be complicated, so we just, you know, keep okay. it simple. So that's our recommendation. I don't know what the, the Board of County Commission will, will do, but okay. we're going to take it forward in, in the next couple of weeks. Okay. I was kind of wondering what that was going to do to that. So anything else? That's all I have. Thank on you. On the agenda, you have one, we have one on consent agenda. Correct. That. When you approve the agenda, you'll be approving the, the consent item. Okay. All right. I now have a motion on the agenda. We have one item on the consent agenda and two items that we are going to hear. I'll move we approve the agenda. Second. A motion on the floor with a second to approve the agenda as written. Any discussion? Any <coughs> none a roll call vote. Jay Swin? Yes. Jeanette Lambie Holman? Yes. Will Smith? Yes. Dave Clark? Yes. Mark Denny? Yes. Chris Ramos? Yes. John Matthews? Yes. And I vote yes. Motion carries 8 to 0. Any declarations from anybody? Okay, we will start off with item number 2. Case number DEV 18-105-106, consideration of preliminary and final plat for a dense site subdivision at four lot plat on a tract of land located in the northwest quarter of section 15, township 11 south. Range 20 east to the 6 p.m. in Leavenworth County, also known as 26029 Evans Road. Request submitted by Herring Survey Company. This is not a public hearing item. Staff report. Good evening, Mr. Chairman and Commissioners. This is a request for a four lot subdivision and preliminary and final plat. Um, the applicant was Mr. Joe Herring. Uh, the proposed four lot subdivision, then side subdivision, is located at 262nd and Evans Road in the rural density density area of the county uh, in the very westernmost portion of the county obviously you can see it butts up uh, to Jefferson County I believe uh, each lot meets the Leavenworth County zoning and subdivision regulations for lot size frontage ratio lot one per the county engineer will not have access off of Evans Road it will have to come off 262nd Street because that's the lower um, volume road um, lot two has an existing lagoon that you can see there in um, the documents that were given to you in the preliminary plat. It is less than 100 feet away from the existing pond. Uh, KDHE today has a regulation that it must be 100 feet away. However, this is an existing lagoon and an existing pond. The lagoon and the pond may remain as they are today. However, if something were to fail with the lagoon, 
they needed to increase the size of it, they needed to do a repair to it, the lagoon would have to be decommissioned according to KDHE standards, and a new compliant on-site wastewater system would need to be installed. The applicants are aware of that. As I said, uh, it can remain as it is today as long as it's in good working order, it's fine. Um, the proposed lot three is irregularly shaped uh, due to the subdivision to the south being platted long before this. Staff is supportive of the overall layout of the proposed subdivision, tent side subdivision. As it's in the westernmost portion of the county, it's not in a growth district, it's in the rural density area. This is an appropriate um, usage of this land. Uh, as I said, staff is supportive of the proposed subdivision subject to conditions, and um, two of those conditions are, again, um, access off of, for lot one is only off of 262nd Street, will not be allowed off of Evans Road, and again, the lagoon issue. Mr. Herring is here, will answer any questions that you may have, as will we. Okay. Public Works, have any comments? Survey? Nothing further. Okay. Does the applicant wish to speak? No? Okay. We need to write one that one down. Is there any additional information to be presented? Nothing further. Are there any comments or questions, commissioners? Now I entertain a motion. Second. I'm going to give it to Jeanette. <laughs> Here, Blake. I'll give it to Jeanette. Uh, okay. So we have to spread it around a little bit. I can wait for somebody else to make a motion. Well, yeah, That's I, right. I think we it's can do that. Jay's day. Uh, I have a motion on the floor with a second to approve case number DEV 18105-106, the preliminary final plant, plats for Denside subdivision. Any further discussion? I, I have one question for staff. Crystal, you made a comment on lot three um, that you took a regular lot and didn't have a problem with it because of where it was out in the county. And I'm totally with you. But just for my own knowledge, if this was near base or time, would, would we have a problem with this subdivision with that lot? It was a couple of issues. One, like I said, that subdivision to the south was flatted a long time ago, and it just it created that, and we can't go back and fix that. Um, it, I think if we were closer to in a growth area, we would do our best to try to come up with more uniform lots, maybe. Um, I don't know how you could change that one. I mean, be landlocked if you don't. Right, we wouldn't be. We wouldn't cut off the south portion of that lot, but. Yeah. If it were an op opportunity, a nearby landowner who maybe wanted to purchase something and we could straighten things out, which I believe that was actually tossed around at one point in time with this particular mm -hmm. subdivision. Yeah, and I'm, not, I'm not asking for this particular subdivision or, or flat, but just for my own knowledge for going, going mm -hmm. forward, because it seems to me we've had some issues with some, some subdivisions with irregular lots that we've kind of balked at. Well, if it's uh, closer to the cities, what you would want is, you know, for the cities to develop in the future in a in an orderly fashion. So, um, if you have like a regular lots, it'll be impossible for, you know, additional lots to be um, developed there. So that's why we have to be careful. If it's closer to the cities, we have to plan accordingly. Any other discussion? But that was my question too. What what she meant by that? Because I didn't see what else you could do with that. No, and I, again, yeah. it's not. I'm not really questioning this. This was my just moving forward. Because, yeah. I and mean, there's been some times where, before, just in my opinion, we've had some similar situations, and we maybe I don't want to say giving the developers a hard time, but we asked them to try to come up with some other solutions, and I'm like thinking. What are, what are we to do? Yeah, that, that's the reason we have like uh, we try to do flag, avoid flag lots, and we, right. we discuss yeah. a lot of um, items during yeah. work yeah. sessions. Well, this um, was messed up a long time ago. Yeah, I mean it's not uh, much we can do to straighten it out now. It's away from the city, and it's you know it's not creating a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, is there any further discussion? We now have a roll call vote. Jay Swin. Yes. Jeanette Amy Holman. Yes. O. Smith. Yes. David Clark. Yes. Mark Denny. Yes. 
Yes. Ramos? Yes. John Matthews? Yes. And I vote yes. Motion carries 8 to 0. The Board of County Commissioners will consider as I item at 9 a.m. on General House. Case number DEV 18101, consideration application of a special use permit for a home remodeling and light construction business, Walcott Woodworks, on a track of land located in the northeast quarter of section 29, Township 9 South, range 22 east of the 6 p.m. in Lemworth County, Kansas, also known as 25757 Tonganoxy Road, request submitted by Michael Wilcott. Um, this is required as a uh, public hearing. Staff report. Good evening, Chairman and Commissioners. This is case number DEV 18101, an application for the renewal for a special use permit for Wilcott Woodworks. The applicant is applying to renew their special use permit for a cabinet shop. <coughs> there are no changes to this business. This business has obtained a special use permit in Leavenworth County since 2008. Staff recommends approval of the special use permit subject to conditions. Staff recommends the permit is approved for 10 years since this Krista, can you put it up on the screen, please? The conditions, so they can see it also. Thank you. Yep. Staff recommends this permit is approved for 10 years since this is the second renewal with no complaints. The applicant is present to answer any questions and so are we. Okay. Um, we've been doing only five years and we've been letting the commissioners do it for ten, uh, longer if they want to. Is this going to be a change that we are going to do or what? Well, <clears throat> excuse me. As you know, the commission has changed. so. Uh, the direction I received from them is that if there are no complaints, um, we can, you know, we can, staff can recommend uh, 10 years and it's up to the planning commission and the board to, to approve it. But the first time around, we usually recommend five years. And then when they come back, if there are no complaints whatsoever, then we recommend 10 years. Okay, well, and, and that's fine. I, I didn't have a problem with it, but it's not what we've been doing. Correct. So it's, I mean, been, the, the, it's a little... The direction has changed a little bit because of the mm -hmm. change in the commission. Okay. Public Works, do you have any comment on this? Okay. Upon <laughs> opening the public comment portion of this hearing, those of you who speak either for or against this item upon recognition will give you name and address. It's time to begin to speak. This is necessary since the public hearing is being recorded. The public comment portion of this hearing is now open. Will the applicant please come forward? Mike Wilcott, I'm the property owner. Uh, I support the 10 year or even longer if the county commission will do it. This is our second time to do this. There's not been a single complaint filed in over 10 years. So uh, we'd ask you to approve that at least the 10 or maybe even more if possible. And we will be asking if you approve it, we will be asking the uh, county commissioners to extend it even longer. Okay. And I'm open to any questions. Okay. Um, did you review all the requirements, all yes. the 10 requirements? You understand them all? Absolutely. Do you have any questions except for the time limit? None, none whatsoever. Okay. Any questions of the applicant, anybody? You don't look to expand anything? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. You want to keep your, your business the same as it is? You don't look to expand? No, anything? not looking to expand. It's actually our house is in front and the wood shop is in the barn behind. Uh, you don't see it from the road. Uh, and somebody from the, the office came out and they can't even hear it running. Okay. Even if we make it longer, if you do change something, and I think that's why he asked, you would have to come back. And even if you make it longer and let's say my son retires, then the special use permit could end. Or let's say that uh, he wants to change something, they can come back and plead it. Or if there is a complaint, right. they can come back and plead it. So the longer you make it, the that's right easier it would be. Okay. Anything else? Any questions of the applicant? Thank you, sir. Thank you. We will now hear from individuals present wishing to speak in favor of this request. Anyone here wishing to speak in favor of this request? <clears throat> Anyone here wishing to speak in opposition to this request? 
We will now hear from anyone who wishes to speak in opposition. Is there any additional information to be presented? Nothing further, Chairman. The public comment portion of this hearing is now closed. Are there any questions or comments, Commissioners? Now I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to approve case number DEV-18-101 with staff recommendations. And that's the 10 years? 10 years, yeah. Okay. I'll second it. Okay. We have a motion on the floor with a second to approve case number DEV-18-0101, a special use permit for a home remodeling and light construction business, Wilcott Woodworks. I don't know why that's hard for me. Uh, is there any further discussion? Okay, now we have a roll call vote. Jay Swin. Yes. Jeanette Lemmy Holman. Yes. Will Smith. Yes. Dave Clark. Yes. Mark Denny. Yes. Chris Ramos. Yes. John Matthews. Yes. And I vote yes. Motion carries eight to zero. The Board of County Commissioners will consider this item on January 29, 2019 at 9 a.m. The Lemworth County Courthouse. Any person wishing to file a protest petition must contact the Planning and Zoning Office. Protest petitions must be filed with Lemworth County within two weeks of this meeting. To be valid, the protest petitions must be signed by owners of 20% of the land area and the notification area. Good luck to you, and you should be here on the 29th at 9 a.m. Same place. Same place. Same place. Thank you. Yes. Anything else? Thank <laughs> you.